Hello everyone, my name is Kamal and in this video, we are diving deep into setting up WSL and Windows 11 together. So this is going to be the minimal setup and we will install every software that a normal DevOps guy would need in this video series. So basically this is kind of the automation you are doing for your Windows 11 and WSL. I have this Windows 11 freshly built machine. So what I will do quickly is I will go to my browser and then I will open devcrypted.com slash desktop setup. So in this document, you will find every step how to basically configure your Windows 11 with WSL, right? I will scroll down. I will show you one by one. You see there are resources already available. So you have this GitHub repository where you will find out each script that we are using here in this video. Second link is for YouTube and third link is for the YouTube playlist. You will soon see a video here. As of now, I'm recording it, so I cannot paste the link for it. But as soon as you see this video, you will soon see a link uh, to this video directly here and you will be able to watch it from here. So let's just quickly go to the getting started link here, right? So we're going to get start from here. The first thing we ever need to do is we need to do install prerequisites. To install prerequisites, we just need to follow what we are asked to do here, right? So first of all, we need to do is we need to install Windows updates. To install Windows update, we need to press Windows plus I to go to the settings. And then on the top right corner, we need to click on Windows update and then click on check for updates. It will take some time to get updates installed. Meanwhile, you can also go to advanced options and you can go to the optional updates. Wait for a while to show up some updates here. Now we have updates. I will check all of them. Click on download and install. Meanwhile, let's do a few things, right? So the first thing I want to do right now is I will go to animation. You can click on animation effects and I will disable animation and transparency effects. The second thing I want to do is I want to go to the personalization and I change the theme to dark so that it is going to be less strained on our eyes. That's it. Now I can close this and I can go and right click on taskbar settings so that we can clear the taskbar as well. So I will disable everything we see here pretty much so that it looks pretty clean. I don't want this thing and I can also unpin whatever I don't need in the taskbar. Perfect. Now I'm going to close this settings and I will go to the next thing. So we are done with these two things. Perfect. Now we will do the third thing, which is going to install PowerShell. I will click on this link. It will open the store for me. First time when you launch store, it can take some time to load. Finally, it launches and uh, I'll go and then click on get. So it will basically install PowerShell for me. Perfect. So the PowerShell is installed now. So these three prerequisites are done. Perfect. Now we will go to the next thing, which is going to be configuring Windows 11 or 10. So the step A would be is launch PowerShell core as administrator and run the below command. Perfect. So we have a command to run here. The one thing important here to tell is go to store and also update your app installer. If it is not updated, you will see errors while you run the script. Perfect. So now it is updated and you can close this and you can copy the script. Perfect. You need to launch the PowerShell as administrator. So that's what we're going to do here. Just search for PowerShell and run it as administrator here. I will zoom it in so it's going to be easier for you to see. And then I will paste this command in. It will take 15 to 20 minutes to run this command because this is going to install 25 applications for you. And you can even see as an output here as well what application it is installing right so it is installing github cli as of now how would you see how many applications and which applications are getting installed you just scroll down a bit and you see you just need to click on this link here perfect and then it will take you to this script here right you will find there's a list of developer tools that are getting installed for example github cli golang python node.js and there are core applications getting installed there are virtualization applications getting installed. There are containerization applications getting installed and IAC tools like HashiCorp Terraform, Pulumi are getting installed. 
so these all applications are getting installed so that's why you need to be patient and you need to wait for these applications to be installed each application take up to one or two minutes so that's why you need to wait for 15 to 20 minutes at least to let this install i will pause this video now and i will resume when it is done okay finally after a long wait this is done packages are installed and if i scroll all the way up and see if there are any errors uh, in the packages installation i just see there is one error fails to install this package and if i see uh, the warning here it says that it is already installed so i don't have to worry about this right? so i think we are good in this case and there are no other errors so i think we are good in all the packages so pretty much everything is installed and we can quickly go to app viz dot cpl that ton of packages are installed that we wanted to install right perfect so we can go back to our notes and see what is the next step uh, one thing i want to tell you is that if in future you want to install more packages you can go to winget.run and search for that package for in my case example i just want to install maybe chrome right so i'll just search for chrome here you see there's a google chrome and you can copy this command you can paste this command to your terminal as an administrator you can do that without administrator will also work and once you run it it should be able to download and install the package for you so that's how you basically install the packages from winget.run the next thing that you're going to do is is install windows subsystem for linux by the way you would see ubuntu is not installed but it will not work because you don't have wsl installed wsl is kind of a platform to run the distributions the distribution i have installed but i don't have platform to run the distribution to do that we need to run this script so that we can get that wsl installed so this script can restart your computer so i copy this script and then i will go and search for windows version so for this, this script i need to search for windows powershell and run it as administrator this is something which actually gets installed with windows powershell only so i'll paste it and it will not take much of your time it will hardly take one minute so once these features are installed you can restart your computer so it is basically updating all the features for you you can wait for a while and once you are done you can log into your computer there we go we have a lot of applications installed so as you are now good with uh, everything here so what i will do is uh, i will show you the ubuntu so this is now actually ready to be used first time when you launch it it can take few minutes to get launched once it is done you have to put the password and username so username can be anything password can also be anything i want you to go to the same documentation again decr.in slash win setup and then you will see the documentation here i will scroll down to the last place where we left so this is done perfect so it is installed now we have the last step which is step number three and here you need to go to my dot files and fork them and then replace this repository with your repository run these commands and then i will do this quickly here i'll go here and then i will paste this command here and hit enter it can take maybe 10 minutes because it is going to install a lot of applications for you how would you know that what applications are getting installed as part of this one you can go to this repository and you will find it there okay you go to ansible and it will install all those things inside this playbook you see there are a couple of roles that we are having here i will zoom it in a little so that you can just see it really clear so you see there is a role called base there is a role called azure cli kind powershell easy powershell ssh terraform csh oh my csh is also getting installed and if you talk about this base you will see that this is also installing a lot of packages inside it when you go to the base here you will go to the main.yml file and you see that tons of packages are getting installed here you see so these packages are getting installed as part of this base packages meanwhile it is doing its work i will show you one nice feature when you say old plus space it launches this very nice run window it's not only application launching it actually do a lot of things for you this is coming with something called power toys and there are a lot of features that it comes with for example if you say equals to and then say 80 plus uh, 10 maybe it automatically do 
the calculations for you and then you can also search for files and folders you can say question mark and then search for maybe some files when you say dot then it will search for programs uh, when you say colon it will navigate inside the windows registry when you say exclamation mark then it will manage the windows services for you when you say angular bracket this for example this ping google.com it will launch command for you and it will do that ping for you i can tell you one more thing when you say forward slash forward slash and say google.com for example it will launch the browser for you if you want to search for something you can also do that let's go back to our documentation so you see there are main three things that you need to do in the documentation i have one more thing here you see core features this setup is bringing you can read about it what features it is bringing for you and maybe you can go to the dot files to understand more about it i'm just waiting for this to install everything for us perfect so everything is done now and your wsl is also ready to be used so i can quickly close it and then i can launch it and you will see the difference from the beginning itself see so it is launching it in oh my zsh and uh, the font it is using i would change that font so i'll go to the ubuntu settings appearance and i will go to cascadia mono font i'll change it to jetbrains so jetbrains font is also getting installed with uh, this configuration we are doing right it is automatically getting installed you don't need to worry about installing jetbrains font as well so i'll save it and uh, i'll see it it looks pretty better now so i can also show you how can you manage the cluster because if you see the kind kind is something which is already installed with this uh, configuration If you face any issue while following these commands you can comment on my video and i will definitely reply for now i have tested it well and i have spent plenty of time to make this work so i would really appreciate your like and subscribe thank you for watching have a great day